what's up you guys welcome welcome back to my channel glitter edits today we're going to be doing the word for the night so i haven't done it for a few nights and it's genuinely just because sometimes you just need to take a break from the world and trying to please people and i felt like i just needed to do it with god for a bit and it felt good because at first i was just a bit too lazy and i didn't want to do it and i just wanted to just not do it but then when I realized that it felt good to just not do it and just actually spend some time with God, it felt really good. So I just did that for a few nights. So I hope you guys can forgive me. <laughs> We're going to be doing the word for the night. and I'm back at it again. And the book is by Rip Warren and it includes 365 devotions and it's called The Purpose of Driven Life, the Devotion for Kids. But I recommend for all ages because my mom has one. It's a really good book. I am so sad because we are getting so close to the end of this book. And today we're on day 260, I believe. Or it's 259. So let's see. Yep, it's day 260. So we are now 70, 80, 90, 30 days away from two, 30 days away from 300. That is insane. Okay. So let's first let's just pray, put your hands together, bow your heads, close your eyes with me. Holy Spirit and Father God, please bless the person watching, bless me, bless my words, let everything come out of me, be all you, Father God. I find and rebuke every demonic spirit that has to flee in Jesus' name right now, amen. Okay, so the title is Stubborn, Stubborn as an Ox, and the scripture is Isaiah 48 verse 4. Isaiah 48 verse 4. For I know how stubborn you were. Your neck muscles were iron. You, your forehead was bronze. Now I'm reading the diversion. Make your arms as stiff as possible down at your sides. Clench your fists if it helps. And press your arms onto the sides of your body. Do it. It's kind of loosen down. Now ask your sibling, friend or parent to try to move your arms or bend your elbows. It will be tough for them. Do it after I finish this. Now try the opposite. Be flexible and loose and then see how easy it is for the other person to bend and move your arms in any direction. Do this after the devotion. Stubbornness is like tightening all your muscles at once to create an unbendable body. But stubbornness is inside you. God has lots of experience with stubborn people. The Israelites and everyone before and after them through a tantrums when they didn't want to follow God or do what's right. It's like they clenched their fists, teeth, legs and back so that God couldn't move them. Oh, he could still move them, but he would warn them first to give them the chance to loosen up. What do you feel stubborn about? Chores, homework, attending church? Go ahead and clench every muscle in your body and stomp your feet even, to get out the stubbornness, then let it go, loosen up, and be flexible to God's will. He, Rick Warren did not put in, in there for no reason. He genuinely means it. Stand up right now, clench everything inside of you, for whatever it is, maybe doing chores makes you mad, so put out all that anger and clench in your body right now. I will do this after the devotion, so trust me. And then, you just got to just like let loose. You got all that anger out. Now you're flexible to God's will. Okay. So I'm going to do a prayer. You can do that flexible like clench of stuff after this. I'm trusting you to do it. Okay. Let's put your hands together. Bow your heads. Close your eyes with me. God, there are some things that we just don't want to do. When it comes to important stuff. So, like serving you and obeying authority, help us to stay loose and bendable and to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus, he is the way, the truth, and the light, and the life. I love you guys so much. Be blessed.